and I'm here to do a quilt review basically on the wool Tuscany batting that I got from Hobbs and I was asked by a subscriber if the quilt shrunk very much when you use wool batting and I am here with my quilt that I'm about to wash I'll show you the quilt in a minute so you can see how it looks and how it puckers I'm gonna try to show you the exact same area and I have already taken a tape measure and I have measured my quilt. My quilt is 95 inches wide by 94 inches long. So that's my current measurements right now. Also, when I quilted the quilt, I used two battings. I used, oh, my bottom layer is 100% cotton warm and natural batting and then my top is the wool batting by Tuscany and if I can I, I think it's 100% wool I'm not sure and if it's not then I'll put on the screen what the properties are so let me show you part of the quilt and then I will go put it into the washing machine and I am going to wash this quilt on with cold water so I'm not sure if I'm going to dry it and if I do what setting I'll dry it on but I'll make sure that I write that down. I normally dry my quilt so maybe I will dry it so I can do the full test for you all. And I may just put it on an average setting, not a very hot one but not a cool setting either. I'll try to see what's on my dryer. So we do have, I have my blinds open and I have a lot of light coming in. Got the sun on this side right now. But I just thought that I would show you a portion of this quilt so you can see how it actually changes. And then right here, in this area, I do have some of my yo-yos that I popped the threads when I was quilting. But I will fix all of that once it come out of the actual dryer. So we'll just show you this area here. And then I will come back with the wash quilt. Okay, so we're here at the washer. I just wanted to show you that I used full cycle, cold setting. And here I used bulky items. And then I didn't do any extra spins or rinses. And then I did not do a soak. I just did a regular wash. And... I actually used this I used this quilt care liquid wash I happen to have some of these this is what I use I use any kind of quilt wash product I don't have any favorite they all seem to work well so now and so here's my quilt in here that is very very wet and we're going to put it into the dryer and on my dryer, I have a button that says extended tumble. I will leave that off for now. We're going to go ahead and do, we do have wool and I'm wondering if I should do it on delicates. But I'm going to go casual instead of regular cotton. I'm going to do casual. And then I'm also going to do casual on the dry. So I'm just going to put it back to dry. So I'm going to put it on more dry, but it's on the casual setting. And I am going to... I didn't extend the tumble. So I'm going to hope that it'll be dry when I get to here and it cuts off. If I did the extended tumble, it would spend a little bit more up in here. So that's what I'm going to do. And then I'll come back when it's dry. Hi guys, I'm back and it's actually been about three days since I last recorded the first part of this video and there was a number of factors that contributed to that. Number one is the dryer setting that I used. I ran that dryer setting twice and the center of this quilt still would not get dry 
and it was not one of those days where I could put it outside and let it dry naturally so I actually ran another cycle where I put it on my regular cotton setting on my dryer and so I actually dried the quilt on that setting I know we're not looking at the pure top of the quilt that I showed you before, but we're going to actually be seeing it upside down when I go on a deck. But I wanted you to see the entire quilt in its layout. And then for me to give you the numbers on the shrinkage with using 100% cotton batting underneath the wool batting, 100% wool batting by Tuscany Wool. And when I made this quilt top, this quilt top was 96 and a half by 96 and a half square inches. So after I got through quilting the quilt, it did shrink to 95 inches in width and 94 inches in the length. After being washed and dried just one time, this quilt now is in the width 91 and a fourth inches wide and it's 91 inches in length so there is a tremendous amount of shrinkage and another factor just so you know when i long warm quilt i always put no on this quilt top i had the top part the top and bottom on my actual leaders or attached uh, and my sides were rolling on the rails which is my length so it shrunk more in the length where I didn't have it on the frame compared to the width. So just so you have those factors as well. So I'm just gonna go up and give you some close-ups of the quilting. I love the texture that's in it. The quilt is sorta kinda heavy. I have not used it for sleeping under yet, but I do like the feel of it. And I'm sorry about the delay in washing this quilt, but I had to actually put it into a quilt show and I wanted to put it in the show before it got washed. Um, am I a fan of wool batting? I'll have to say that I'm still kind of on the line with that. I do like my 100% natural, uh, warm and natural batting. 100% cotton, warm and natural batting. Sorry about that because I like how it washes up and then it gives me that texture. So I don't know how warm this one is going to be. I made it to be a warm quilt, so it probably won't get used until after Christmas because I'm going to put a different quilt on for Christmas now. But uh, I'll keep you abreast maybe in some live chats about if I change my mind about wool, I probably have a couple more wool batting so I get to try it again as well. But yeah. So I will go up and show you the top of the quilt where I done the real detail so you can compare there as well. So we're going to go ahead and end the video here. Thank you all for watching. If you all have some comments or suggestion, suggestions on how you use wool batting, please leave it in the comment section below. Please share my channel with your other quilty friends. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Bye, tea quilters.